They were my best friends <laughs> growing up. The black kid. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to leave the hotel. I was scared too. Meanwhile, you think it smelled like straight horse booty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word Tabletop Topics, and our Triple T's Clips channel. So if you and uh, if you click on the link, it'll take you directly to the episode. And of course, we have timestamps, so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. And um, again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. Let's jump right into it. Yes, sir. Um, you said you had some questions for me, sir. Well, first, I got to tell you, my Sunday sucked. I got to explain the short story. All right, go ahead, go ahead. All right, so, mom, no, this was Saturday. Fuck, yeah, it was Saturday, so. Today is? Monday. Okay, all right, Tuesday. Cool. Monday. Tuesday, today is. I don't Tuesday. know what day it is. It's one of them days. It's one of them days. So, mom uh, asked me to come pick her up from Walmart. Uh, no, or take her to Walmart so we can go. Uh, pick up her car after she she got her oil changed. So I picked her up in the morning, came back. She chilled at at the crib for about four hours because they told her to take three hours for it to get done. Mm -hmm. Come to find out, they never even did it at all. That's so <laughs> they just left her car outside. I'm guessing because it has no handles. <laughs> so, oh yeah, they couldn't. <laughs> it doesn't have handles, so they can't get in the car. They're like, "Fuck it, we ain't doing this. <laughs> it's this garbage." You what? Yes. I forgot. Yeah. They got a jailbreak that hole just Hell to yeah. get the door open. That it's man, because when she said wait for me, because she had her stuff in my car, the guy literally went on the passenger side and jumped into the... <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, he's hey, like... Hey, yo, what the fuck? Dog, I forgot. Like, I didn't forget what was wrong with her car. Yeah. But I didn't think... Man, the car, the, the, the mechanics are going to have a hard time dealing with this. Oh, yeah, for sure. Especially opening and closing the door unless, unless they leave the window down. Yeah, they'd have to leave the window mm -hmm. down a crack. So, <laughs> so yeah. So, on our way, on our way to, um, on our way to going to uh, bring her back to Walmart so she can go uh, pick up her vehicle before we found out that they forgot to do it mm -hmm. after waiting for three hours. There was a tortoise on the road. Heading, heading uh, west, same direction I was going. And I remember you asked me, where was the, where was the tortoise head? So me being a good pedestrian, because there was no traffic coming behind me or in front of me. Mm -hmm. So I go out, pull on the side. Mom's like, P make sure you put it like far into the grass, which I do. And then I'm like, all right, we're good. I leave. Drop mom off. She says she was going to wait for her car to get done. I come back. In the distance, I see three giant vultures. I said, it better not be the goddamn tortoise. Because I fucking took that tortoise off the road. And it was the goddamn the tortoise. tortoise. And the, the, what, what pissed me off is not the fact that the tortoise went back on the road. The, what pissed me off is whoever ran it over, I swear to God, I guarantee you they saw it. The they only reason it. why I say that is because I saw it 20 feet before I reached it. That's facts. You no, that's facts. And then I, I asked you, I was like, which way was the tortoise heading? You know what I'm saying? Just in the middle of the road. Like, yeah. I, I, like I was the going. Fact, and, and the, I'll, I'll show you. I was going this way. It was going the same direction. It mm -hmm. just stayed there. It, was, it wasn't at an angle trying to cross it. It was just there. So I'm like, let me put you on the grass so you can continue going straight. No, that bitch went right back on the road. It's probably sunbathing. Do tortoise sunbathe? I don't know. You got to Google that's, that that's shit. That's a good Google. You gotta Google that That's shit. That's a good Google. That's crazy. Do tortoise. Sun babe. Yep. And that's probably it. Yeah, the like ro the, the road was hotter. Yeah, the road was hotter. Sun than the was grass. beaming. Yeah, I figured. Because, like, normally what they say is if you see a tortoise crossing the road, see which way it's 
which direction it's heading mm-hmm. and then take it that direction that it's because heading. then it's just going to go because then it's going to yeah because it's probably trying to go somewhere and then you're putting it right back at the starting point so now it's like well shit now i gotta go back now i gotta go back you when, know, and so. that was the crazy thing it wasn't at an angle it was literally just walking straight in the middle of the in opposite the side of the road that's, that's what, crazy. That's what was crazy to me. People are assholes, bro. And, and that's what I'm saying. People and I'm like, you could, I, I swear you could see the tortoise. You can see the tortoise. People are just assholes. It was like a few years back, I was heading to my boy Caleb's house. I still remember this. Mm-hmm. And um, I was crossing it onto Alabama um, off of Le- Leland. Mm-hmm. And I see a family of ducks crossing the street. So I stop, put on my flashers, and, you know, I see cars in front stop, like, coming across from me. Uh, oncoming Waiting for them to pass, with. yeah. But the guy behind me couldn't wait, so he starts honking me. And I'm like, you know, I give him a hand signal, like, you know, wait, you know, da-da-da. He did not give a damn. He swerved around me, gunned it, and smashed into the family of ducks. And just kept driving. And I was just like, okay. Damn. No good like, deed okay. goes unpunished. I was like, all right, man. Fucking A, bro. Dog, I'm telling you, bro. Some people are just like. Assholes. I don't know. That's just beyond asshole to me. That's just crazy to me. Fucking dicks. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and to be like specific, like. It's not even like it was a rabbit or a dog or a cat that just runs out into the road. This is a fucking tortoise. I'm pretty sure you can see. As slow as that's moving. It's, right. No, I, like I said, from 20 feet, I saw it. That's why I pulled over because I saw the tortoise. I'm like, there's no traffic coming towards me. There's no traffic behind me. So mom's like, yeah, pull it over, take him off the road. It was so funny because as soon as I picked it up, it started hissing. But then when I started running onto the grass with it, it started doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Cause <laughs> like, let me go. So, Damn. So R- I, R.I.P. Go for tortoise. Yeah, man. I'm like, R. what R. the R. fuck? Go. And as soon as I come back, there's already three vultures eating it. I'm like, what the fuck? That's crazy. It's probably like that quick, bro. You were waiting. I don't know, man. Some people just, especially motherfuckers with like the lifted trucks, bro. Oh yeah, they don't give a shit. They will definitely. They run will over. run the fuck out of that thing, bro. What the hell? Just heck? to see if their truck can handle. <laughs> Fucking a, bro. That's crazy. And they are protected out here, too. Because, mm-hmm. like, I remember, um, like, when I was kind of doing research on that, on how to relocate or, uh, like, how to relocate gopher tortoise if mm-hmm. they if they build a den in your on your property. Yeah. And you actually have to call, like, Florida yeah, Wildlife. Yeah, because they're endangered species. Right. You have to I, call yeah. Florida Wildlife so they can relocate them. And even then... After they relocate them, some of them don't even last because it's like... They're so used to... They're, yeah, they're out of their whole space mm-hmm. and shit. You know I know that's saying? why some some uh, plot of land, the uh, 20.25 uh, acres, the quarter acres, they can't build homes on them because they have a family right. of for to- uh, the And tortoises. it costs money. Yes, it does. It costs does. money to, to get them out and there. And they'd rather and, just leave them there than right. to pay a fuck ton just to take them out. Yeah, so. cuz you have to pay for the relocation fee mm-hmm. or the rehabilitation yeah, fee. Yeah, because the the bill is all out of that. your pocket. Yes, exactly. So Why that... are you licking my kneecap, kid? <laughs> <laughs> that was so weird. That was so yeah, weird, man. Kid. What the heck? Bro. <laughs> we kick him out, he scratches the door. We leave him in here, he acts weird. <laughs> what the heck was that, man? He's like, "I like." He just knees. licked my kneecap. <laughs> and he's happy about it. He's yeah. proud of it. I like it. He's like, yeah, I did that. <laughs> I did that. Yeah. What the fuck? But no, another weird thing that happened today at work, um, I was cleaning up the back room and one of my stock clerks came out to me and said, yeah, this this uh, um, stock clerk named Bertha, like she speaks Spanish, she doesn't speak English at all. She came and asked me for her help and then I went and helped her and then this this guy didn't speak English at all, but he wanted me to help him with his Visa gift card. He was trying to purchase something online. So she's like, I scrolled all the way up. <laughs> Oof. 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 I already know where this is going. That nigga's paying for porn. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy, dog. You 
couldn't sit that nigga. Be like, hey, yo, bro, I got you, man. Here, X bro. videos, bro. bro. And, she, and here, it was here's, funny. Here's Pornhub or something. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Like, that's bro, what, uh, what do we even that's doing, what the, That's what my stock clerk said. My stock clerk's like, she, she's like, <laughs> she's like, I could have told him that, but, you know, I had she. He was already in too deep. You know? No, no, he's not. You could have pulled that nigga out. What the fuck? No, Save she didn't. Him. This is this is the thing. She didn't know what he was paying for because he scrolled up. So oh, it was like one of his tabs. Yes. So it, there was no images. It was just the card information that he was putting in, and then he had to scratch the the number on the back in order to put the, the three digit codes. And when she scrolled up. That's when she saw porn, and then she's That's like, "Man, terrible. I should have told him there's porn up." I said, "He ain't from America. He That's don't know it's free." Uh, he, <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. It's like he don't he don't know it's free. He gonna pay for that. Let That's him do crazy. it. He gonna have it for a month. That's crazy. What subscription are you paying? Like, what premium porn are you trying to? I don't like? know. It clearly wasn't OF the fuck? because. Um, she didn't say that. She said, "Yeah, because like that's the only th one yeah. like I could truly think of. Like no one's paying for premium anything on Anymore. any porn website. Yeah, like, and even though they put like premium or gold or whatever on there, everyone just skips it and just goes find right. another website that somebody already paid for it like, that, what, that, where what? they can watch it. That's crazy to me, dog. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why I said I'm like, God damn. She's like, yeah. He was uh, he was paying for pornography." Yeah. Man, you so, know, I remember when we were younger. I think I was in like I was when we first moved here, and our neighbor, um, he was like, I guess he was trying to be cool with us and shit like that. And here, yeah, when we moved to Lehigh. Oh, you're, you're talking Word. about my mom's neighbor. Yeah, mom's neighbor, and but that was weird. That was weird as fuck. But he was so behind. Because in my mind, I'm like, bro, we got the internet. But he was so behind, bro. But he was so old. Yeah, them, bro had a whole fucking them dividends. Bro had hella DVDs. <laughs> He's like, you know, if you want, you can come over. You can borrow some. That I was like, nah, bro, we ain't gonna sit down and watch porn with you. That's fucking <laughs> weird. <laughs> Who the fuck just sits down and just watches porn? Together as kids, I don't know. Together, I don't know. Back when I was in middle school, bruh, you did that. Shit? No, 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 not with my friends. But uh, like, that's why I'm talking about. Okay, let me say this <laughs> so it doesn't sound you sus. What? Hey, yo, what the Cause fuck? Because you know why every motherfucker brought their PSP to school, bruh. <laughs> you know, oh, that was before they put restrictions. Yeah, right. but I didn't have a PSP. You guys, yeah, you from a different time. Bro. Yeah, you from a different time. You know I'm saying? a Game Boy guy. <laughs> light okay. and without light, right? And were Were you there with the the SP, the flip, the clamshell Game Boy? Yeah, yeah, okay. that's the one with the light. That was the first time they did. Yeah, light. so when the first PSP came out, model one thousand and one, right? I believe so. 1,000. I was a thick boy. Mm -hmm. I was a thick PSP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the fucking boys... Them boys. Always had porn on that bitch. We'd be in class, and the motherfuckers was, like, looking at porn. Always looking at porn. I remember I had a boy named JJ. Got his shit snatched in the middle of the cafeteria by one of the teachers that was walking by. Because this motherfucker just right at the lunch table just looking at porn. I was just like... What was going to do? Beat his dick? No. In yeah. front of a... Uh... No, it was just a morbid curiosity. Like, why does it have to include masturbation? That yeah. always includes chronic masturbation, especially Chron as teenagers. No, I feel that. <laughs> nah, it's a sickness. It's it a is sickness. a sickness! It's a sickness. To the but yeah, eyes man, the... so like... All the time, there were always. It was even like when we when we would do those stupid bullshit clubhouses uh -huh. back in the day, and we would just get like old furniture and shit, and they would hide porn magazines in the fucking thing. Yeah, true. That just translates onto a PSP. That's true. You know what I'm saying? It's easier. You, you gotta understand. I lived through three generations of yeah, because fuckery. The, yeah, because the, uh, the internet was starting to become like, like yeah. Super so like I I understand the old shit where it was like. That one kid who had the porn stash, and then I understood like growing up with the tech, where it was like, wow, we can take porn with us. With us, yeah. You it's, know what I'm saying? It's not just on the computer. Right. Now. So, yeah. like, every kid had a fucking SD card, or was just scrolling through the PSP browser mm -hmm. with porn on their shit. You know what I'm saying? And it was just to be like, hey, look, look, look what I got. Look what yep. I got. You know what I'm saying? Look what I found. You know, I got past the, the internet security. Look what I got. Look what I pulled up. 
And it was even like, we did that with our art teacher, I think, in 7th and 8th grade. Um, Mr. Lawrence. Fuck. Oh, yeah, I know Mr. Lawrence. Mr. La- I don't know if he's still alive, because that motherfucker was old when I was like... A lot of our teachers were old. Yeah. When we were kids. So Except for uh, Miss Meehan. She was literally the youngest one that I knew. Like, I was in her 20s while we were... Or Miss Piscaric, as you call her. Oh, I was like, what the fuck? But, uh, but yeah, so, like, Mr. Lawrence, bro, that shit was funny. He was our art teacher. And, I don't know, it's like... He was there, but he wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? Like, his brain wasn't there. And I guess he didn't really understand, like, the deviancy of these fucking children in his class. <laughs> that shit was fucking amazing. So, Fantastic. Like, that was pretty much the art block. The art building had like multiple We're art rooms. Down. The art building had like multiple art rooms and, and shit like that. So it was different teachers and shit. Yeah. And normally like um, there was a hallway in between each art room mm-hmm. with a shared shared bathrooms and shit like that. Boys and girls bathrooms. So like if he needed something, he would go across the that little hallway to the next art room and then they would kind of share supplies and ideas and shit like that so every time he would leave the room this was before like you could lock your computer like with some real shit yeah yeah for sure so we would turn off the projector because he was probably doing like a a a a presentation on still life or van gogh or different Mm. types of art styles and shit like that so we turned the projector off and then we already knew like the only reason why you weren't able to bypass the the internet the internet was because there was an S at the end of HTTP. And they figured and that it out. meant secure. Secured server. And all you had to do was take out the S. Take out the S. Oh, it would pull up hella fucking porn, change his desktop background to like <laughs> No. Change his desktop background, load up a video in the back, and <laughs> And then no. shut off. And then, you what? <laughs> and then they would shut off the fucking. They would put the computer to sleep. Damn, y'all niggas do that <laughs> so, for real, bro. I'm telling you, motherfuckers was deviant. Boy, that shit was crazy. That's evil. That shit was crazy. They used to get that motherfucker all the time. It was nonstop. They was getting this man. So every time he turned that bitch off. <laughs> And he couldn't do anything about it. You just see someone getting plowed on the screen. And then he would exit the internet. And then it's just some chick with her legs open as a desktop background. And everyone's <laughs> losing their shit. So he just turned the whole computer off. Oh He's like... God. And then he'd look at us. He's like, I don't know what's going on. I think we got a virus. <laughs> I think we got a virus. He, was he that old? He was old. Oh, damn. Y'all think it's fucking... He was old. old. He was Why? old as shit, dude. Why? He's like, oh man, we gotta call IT. I think we got a virus. We gotta pause the lesson. And I'm just like in tears, bro. I'm crying, man. That's crazy. No, nah, they used to, they used to freaking, they used to haze this man. It was crazy, bro. Man, you guys are ruthless. Some badass kids you in the class. You guys are ruthless. Bro, badass kids in the class. God man. damn it, man. Shit. Crazy as shit, man. What the fuck? It was crazy as shit. <laughs> Them, bro, middle school days. I felt like my class. We were bad, bro. Hell yeah, you guys were bad. We were bad as fuck with, uh, with Mr. Lawrence like that. No, nah, we were bad. Damn, as you guys are mean. Uh, it was mean as hell. We bullied the fuck out of that man all the time, bro. It was crazy. I'm not saying that was the right thing to do, but looking back at it, it was pretty fucking funny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was pretty funny. It was for this man always thought, oh man, the virus came back. <laughs> well, oh my God. <laughs> and he was already not born in, in the time right. of computers, a technology. Like, bro, so you better pay for that. Even, yeah, he didn't even know how to work it, so. Better pay for that McAfee, bro. What yeah, fuck? now you don't need it, <laughs> McAfee anymore, but. Yeah, oh yeah, because everything just comes with. But they're trying to stay relevant. Well, no, now they offer other services like LifeLock. Oh, like VPNs now yeah, and all that stuff right. like that. Yeah. LifeLock partnered up with Norton. Because then, now Social Security is... Uh, so it's, they're trying to stay relevant by doing stuff like that. Right. Yeah, that's right, what you're right, saying. Right. But man, funny as shit. Funny as shit. Ooh. Apple. Apple just dropped their... Uh, their new, what is it called? The Apple Vision Pro. 
What does it do? So it's augmented reality. Mm. So it's like the era of spatial computing is here, where digital content blends seamlessly with physical space. Mm. So you can do the things you love in ways that never possible before. Bring it down to a thousand and I'll buy it. <laughs> what I always learn what I always learn is you never buy the first prototypes. Let them Well it's not a pro- prototype, it's a first generation. You can't call it a prototype. Well, not it's yeah, made it to market. Basically, yes. So never buy the first generation because there's always going to be. As soon as you get it, then the second one's going to come out. But this is Apple. Does Apple ever fuck up on their first phone? Their first time doing anything when they release a product? No. Never. Never. That's the only thing I could give Apple. The only mistake that they ever made is repeating their. The right. That. But. Yeah. But like in terms of like build quality. No, yeah, I never, right. I will never fault Apple for any of that. No, you're right. I agree. I never, agree. ever, 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 ever. I agree with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can dog on Samsung. I can dog on Google. Yeah, because their Note Eight exploded or and their their Seven, their Seven exploded. The Note Ten exploded because they were trying to just cram so much hardware into it and didn't give the battery enough space. So space, yeah. It would just overheat. You know what I'm saying? So like. That's one thing I will give Apple. But if this is going to be their new flagship... Because, like you said, they're moving away from iPhone. Right. They want to get away from... They want to get away from iPhone defining their entire brand. Yes. Because that's all people see. That's all people hear. That's all people hear when they talk about Apple. When you say Apple, the first thing that comes up is iPhone. Right. Right. That's fair. So... So I, yeah, so I, I now they're gonna try the transition. That's how come they're trying to integrate um, <laughs> their technology into a smart car. So I'm on Twitter and they already posted memes, bro. It's like first video I'm about to watch <laughs> on the Apple Vision Pro <laughs> is twerking TikTok. <laughs> oh, virtual reality. Oh, yeah. They're going to turn it into... No, they're going to oh, destroy us, no, bro. No, oh, yeah. No, so, they're going to destroy us. So, this is what's going to happen. So they're going to rot so our now, brains. So, now this is what's going to happen. Now that they have that, people are going to be spending $3,500 on it so they can virtually... Watch porn. Watch porn and yeah, OnlyFans. That, OF. That's... Absolutely. <laughs> Come on, man. What's the first thing that we always do with technology? Oh, uh, shit. Dumb shit. Oh, uh, shit. Dumb shit. What the oh, fuck? shit. They're going to be like, what the fuck? Um, they're going to be like, Apple VR is selling out around the world for pornography. For pornography. <laughs> porn sales going to gonna go through the fucking it's, roof. It, hey, literally, they're heading man. to. Look, no. Remember when we were watching Cyberpunk? What happened? That dude was. Oh, out. that was crazy. Yes. <laughs> that was crazy. Crazy dog, that was crazy, bro. Hell yeah, that was. It even came with a machine attached. Yep, dog. You exactly. know, let me, bro. We really going there, yep. bro. Cyberpunk. We really about to be on some cyberpunk. Yeah, shit. even Apple and Preach was talking about Damn, it. Damn, man, we're sad. We going out sad, bro. Yep. <laughs> we yep. going out sad. Yeah. Well, remember, you horny talk- and sad, bro. You're even talking about the trials with uh with uh Neuralink. Uh, Neuralink, yeah, a human trials yeah, already human started. Trials, trials already started with yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. I'd wait ten years before <laughs> I put was that like, in my head. No, that was you, mo- no, motherfucker. Last night you was like, yeah, I want to try it now. I was like, all right, enjoy being fucking. I want to mind meld with technology. Upgraded myself until I become bionic. Symbionic. What the fuck? Yep. Bio Centennial Man. Yep. No, I'm just waiting for the 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 freaking nanobots in your bloodstream. Then we'll never age. We'll never get sick. Never and everything age. will be enhanced. Nothing cancer. That'd be crazy. You just have superhumans. That'd be crazy. Oh, we really doing this, man? Yeah, we're going to take It's going to be expensive as fuck, though. Don't matter. Get your bread up. Exactly. Get your bread up. Or you're going to be left out of Elysium. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, man. What Fantastic. the fuck? What was it, District 9? There you District go. District 9, yeah. District 9, giant, Elysium. You know how it goes. Come on, yep. man. You know how it goes. Blade Runner, come on. Get your bread up or get left behind. Yep. Or get left behind. Augment yourself. 
That's crazy. No, so that that kind of brings up uh, brings me up to the topic that I was going to ask. I was going to ask you a question because I was watching, I was listening to Abilene preach while I was driving home, and basically, what they were talking about was um, the the question I wanted to ask you is, you like your height right now, right? Right, I'm chill. I'm calm. All right, would you? Would you break your legs to get taller? Oh, you talking about that height surgery? <laughs> Are you talking about that height surgery, bro? The it's the equivalent to BBLs now, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> your kid's still gonna be short. First of all, but I don't you're even tall. think. I don't even think. I think the height surgery is way more brutal. It's m- way more it's painful. Way more, no, 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 brutal. Like they're breaking your fucking bones. Yeah, while you're under transferring fat to your ass. You know. Yeah, what I'm but that's like more. Uh, what 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 preach was saying. It's more dangerous. It's risky because fat is external. It's not right. Part, it's not part of your body. Right. So burning it and melting it and then reinserting. Yeah. It. Right. That's that, that. That's it's what, not a natural deposit of the yeah. fat to where the area exactly. It needs and it's to a be. huge risk because once it leaves right. the body, airborne. Right. So there's germs Bacteria, in the air. Yep. Shit, and and right. then potential infections while putting in, injecting it back into your butt, where the breaking your legs. <laughs> Dog, it's not like. The man went from five foot four to six one. <laughs> that's crazy. But he had to go through two. He nah, had to go. Yeah. Crazy. So he he basically went through to the first through the first one, rehabilitated rehabilitated himself, and then he went through the second one because he was five four, and then he went from five four to six six foot. And even even um uh even preach says the danger of it is like this. The re- it's it, he gave the perfect example. He's like it's like welding. Mm-hmm. Welders try don't like welding because that means it doesn't it hold together. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Once it breaks, you're kind of just patching it up. Right. That's what I'm saying. It's not like true, true like bone. Yeah, and you can no longer run anymore. Then why are we doing this? Because he wants to be tall. Bro, just wait for the freaking he, bionic legs. He wants to be tall. Wait for the inspector gadget legs. I'm not going to lie. That's literally what Abba said. He's like, nah, I'm going to just wait for bionic legs. Right. Just wait to be inspector gadget, damn yeah. it. No, but that's... I, I wanted to ask you that question because I guarantee you, because it's prevalent on the internet right now, that's probably the thing because... S- not all, but some women are saying, I prefer tall guys. So now, the question is, are you willing to risk going through that? Not you personally, but are men willing to risk to go through that surgery just to gain five five to six inches just to be above above average height? All right. First of all, you can't be broke. So that already deletes, second, deletes half of anyone who second, ever wanted you need to a, get Second, you need a whole team. To, to help you out because if anything happens and the bone like moves yeah you're fucked oh you're fucked you're gonna have to get rid of them retarded legs <laughs> you're fucked what the hell yeah yeah that's that's stupid that's not worth it like I said it's just so much more brutal compared to a BBL yeah and yeah BBLs you- they're just equivalating it to a BBL because uh, you're changing your appearance to fit the standard well, that's not the standard. But the, the, it's not, this the, is real life. I know. This no. is real life. Nah, this sir. is a simulation, bro. No, this is real life. Is Motherfuckers who live on the internet think that's the standard. But in real life, with my own two eyes, uh, shit. I've seen it all. It's a simulation, bro. You know what I'm saying? I've seen it all. That's why motherfuckers need to stay off the internet before they start breaking their shin bones and shit so they can become that's, LeBron James. That's what he's doing. Yeah, but you can't. Because remember, like I said, it's like welding. You can't run. You can't really do sports. You can't be active because it's just, it's it's not solid. It's just holding it together. Because you break it and you stretch it and you stretch it. It grows. And you break it and then you stretch it and it grows. It's like scar tissue, but exactly. for bones. It doesn't heal 100%. Right. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, would you risk, would you be really? really no. <laughs> no. You got to think about it, Jeff. You can't no, just say no. <laughs> no. That's just not worth it. No. You see what oh, I'm saying? Oh, man. Like, I have... Like, I'm 
fucking fine with the appendages that I have. Mm-hmm. I have abnormally large feet for my height. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's not gonna make me chop my fucking feet off. What do you think is leading? What do you think is leading? The internet. People got internet brain. They think the internet is real life. That's it. Damn. They think what they see on the internet. They see a whole bunch of street interviews of. Of women saying, oh, we like six-foot motherfuckers. Okay, but that's not all women. But and that's they, all, and they, they can't separate. There's something in there that just can't separate that from actual life. That Fact I, over fiction. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. That's just crazy to me. If you, have, if you are at home watching these videos, you're not going out. You're not going outside. Yeah. You're not in these areas where these women are requiring this height. Mm-hmm. If you have time to sit at home and watch these videos and believe that this is what women want from society and this is what men you know, want from I society. You know, I don't think they understand, You're too. not partaking in society. You know, I don't think they understand, too, is the fact that the videos are cut and edited. Right. So it only shows what will bring What they in, want. Right. They could have will... interviewed a thousand women but the and ones only that... ten of them said... They want six foot, six figures. Yeah, so you ten, know, yeah, ten percent, so on and so forth. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like, what do we even? But doing? they won't show. But they won't show the nine hundred. They're only going to show. Right. What are we even doing? The ten percent. Like, what are we even doing? You know what I'm saying? And that goes for everything, bro. Everything you watch on the internet is only framed for, you know, what they want to portray to you or con- convey to you. Yeah. And that should be common sense, but unfortunately, it's not, dude. It's not. It's not common sense. People can't see past that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like, and I don't know, bro. That that yeah. That's why I wanted to ask you that question because I know you're 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 satisfied with your height, and I am satisfied with my. Height. I know I'm short, but I right. I know I know I can do a lot for a short person. Right. And I don't care whether, like I said, I'll date a, an Amazon and I'll date a short person. I don't care. My height, Amazon or short person, I don't care. I know I can take care of them. I know I can protect them. I know I can do all that stuff like that. I think height is irrelevant. Like that TikTok where they blindfolded the wife and they were like, "Oh yeah, Find she's like this." Husband. And she's like, <laughs> "Okay, oh, oh, there he is. Oh, there he is." There he yeah. is. I was like, "Yo, yeah, I feel that." Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's just like. No, I, I agree. Know, bro. No, I agree, man. This is weird as fuck. I just want to ask you that question because, like I said, I was driving home listening to it, and and it's like motherfuckers are breaking their legs to be six feet. That's crazy. And then now that that video is going to be circulating through the internet, a lot of people are not. A lot of internet brain men are not going to. No, try to- they're not. They're broke. You need money. Sacrifice. You need money. Like, let's be for real. Come on, let's be fucking for real, bro. Sacrifice. You need money. You need money. Do you know how much I sacrifice? You need money. That's why it's like, I can't, I can't compare this to, like, I can see how you can draw a line from BBL to this. Yeah. But it's like, I just can't. There's just so much external do you think forces. They're gonna, do you think they're going to go outside the country, too? <laughs> What other countries doing this besides? Oh, uh, breaking legs. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. They'll be like, you can what pay 3000 instead of 15000 in America. And, and how weird is that? Like, right? So let's say you're actually short, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. So your proportions are proportionate to your actual height. Yeah. And the only thing they've actually, I not say perfected, but actually crafted was leg extension. Now you're going to end up looking like that motherfucker I knew back at Publix 414. Motherfucker was six foot seven with a five foot seven wingspan. Oh, that's weird. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah. They called him T-Rex. Yeah. Okay. He was asking me to reach shit for him. He could see it, but he couldn't reach it. <laughs> he could see an item on the shelf, but he couldn't reach it because his arms was too short. <laughs> you know how uh, it's gonna shit. look? Yeah. You're six foot, but your wingspan is like 
what your original height was. Height was. Usually your wingspan is close. And that's because he, not a he little broke bit. his, he, he did the breaking leg surgery. Right. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? He should have broke his arms too. <laughs> but how you gonna... <laughs> that's why they said you have to have a team uh, or people who care about you that can take care of you while you heal in the, through the healing process. It's just gonna look off, bro. Yeah. If it's you just gonna look off. Yeah. Man. If you don't have any of that, then you're fucked. And you can't run. Like, nah. After after you break your leg, you can't run because preach was explained. Then what the fuck is the point of doing anything? You can't run. You're late for work. Can't run. Mm -hmm. You want to play sports? You can't run. So what are you? You just gonna look tall? That's it. You're just gonna be tall. So you're 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 finally whole. You filled that void in your heart, mm -hmm. and that is just I'm tall now. Yeah, life is good. I'm tall. Nah. I can't run. Can't play sports. Can't be active. But hey, hey, hey. But I get bitches though. <laughs> That's why. That's okay. Why. What if she say carry me? You want to get married? Carry me. Exactly. Exactly. Buckle. Then what are we talking about, bro? Buckle. <laughs> what are we talking about, bro? Buckle. You want to lift weights? You got to lift some sandbags into your pickup truck. Yep. What are we doing? Oh, but you look tall. You're tall now. Like you're six said. foot now. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Hey, you're six foot now, but you can't do anything. No. Anything. Because, like I said, essentially they break a piece of your bone, gap it, and then they use something to keep it straight while it comes together again. But essentially it's like this. It's like a zipper. It's not solid. Oh, wow. If anything Why don't goes... they reinforce it with some steel or some shit? Yeah. Or some, like, artificial... I don't know. It's probably more money. It's already enough <laughs> money to begin with. You might as well go the whole uh, mile, shit. bro. Oh, uh, shit. And that's why it's like, yeah, you keep saying, you know... Oh, now everyone... No, they're not. Because not everyone got money. Not everyone got money. Not everyone got money like that. They're going to sell their kidney to get to get tall. Like, not everyone got money. Like It's not a trend. Like, okay, for women, you could easily say, all right, either she'll work for it, she'll use her own money, or she'll just get some random motherfucker. To pay for it. To pay for and it. And she'll go outside the, to Columbia to right. get surgery instead of in Miami. Either she'll pay for it or someone will pay for it. Yeah. But... A man's not going to go to his girl and be like, hey, can you pay for my... <laughs> She's going to be like, bitch, you crazy? <laughs> can you pay for my leg lengthening <laughs> surgery? Like, what? If you want me to be tall... <laughs> like, who are you going to ask to pay for your leg lengthening If you want surgery? me to be tall, then you're going to pay for my leg lengthening Like, be for surgery. real. Come on, man. Who are you going to ask to pay for your leg length? That's on you. Everything is on you. Yeah. It's all on you. He going to get 20... He going to... Uh, he going to... Um... He gonna refinance his house. Right. <laughs> it's all on you. It's easier for a woman to get a BBL than it is for a man to get that leg lengthening surgery. Yep. No, I agree. You know I what agree. I'm saying? So, you, no, you're not gonna see this proliferation of men just going to get leg, leg lengthening. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so... In, in, That's great. No, just to, just to draw it back to it. That, so, Abbo is basically saying, yeah, man... If they come out bionic legs, I'm definitely going to get bionic legs. But I'm going to wait like 10, 15 years so they can perfect that shit. Because I don't want... Essentially, you Oh, yeah. I'm about to be a transhuman just, like a motherfucker. Yeah. He's like, uh, essentially, you're just going to be... Yeah, that's what he said. He yeah. called it transhuman. Transhuman. Yeah. He's literally, word, he literally word. said, essentially, you're just going to be a guinea pig for shit that might glitch. Absolutely. So give, me, like, give me all the... Pump me with robotics, bro. What the fuck? He's like, the only thing I want is my face and my brain. So that's cyberpunk. It. You know how cool that would be? Yeah. Like my whole body's cyborg and then it's just my face and my brain. Oh, like cyborg. I just want my original brain. Like cyborg. Word. I just want my original brain. That's it. So, but no, yeah, I, I thought I'd ask you that question, see what your perspective was on it. Because, again, too, when, when I wouldn't say a trend, but when something starts... It, I just want to see how far it will go. It's like the whole passport bros thing. Like, who's really passport broing? Nobody. Unless you got money. Yeah. Like, what are we talking about? You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what are we talking about, bro? Like, let's let's stay in reality. I know I'm barely in reality half the time. <laughs> but, like, I know, like, I know what makes sense and what doesn't make sense. Uh -huh. And what doesn't make sense is not every nigga is just going to get up and go fly to another country. And find, and find a woman. Find a, yeah. You need to get money. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you work a nine to five. You can't leave that job for two weeks or they letting your ass go. And then yeah. what, with what money? 
Yeah. We want money. F- okay, That's then. True. So what are we talking about? No, Leg yeah. lengthening surgery? What are we talking about? You need money. You need money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we talking about, bro? It has to be realistic. Yeah. It has to be realistic. You know what I'm saying? This isn't for the average Joes out here. Like, if you're taking advice from anywhere on the internet, know that it's not for the average Joe. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I agree, man. I it's agree. It's not. <clears throat> like I said, I've I've never had an issue with my height. For me, I, I feel like I've, I've always been at a good height. For, for most, I am short, but it is what it is. Um, but I compensate for the height. So, like I, prime example, mom procreated with dad, and she's solid in him. Yeah. Okay, then. So, what are we talking about? Mm-hmm. So, what are we talking about, bro? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's eight billion motherfuckers on this planet. You can't tell me not one person is just gonna like. Not every woman is gonna be like, yeah, six feet. Man, I'm tripping. Y'all tripping. That's how they steal your money. That's, yep. how, they, that's how they make y'all crazy. Hell people. yeah. They sell you some bullshit. They sell you a dream. And then say, if you want to live that dream, this is what you need. Because this is what all, all women want. And it's like, no, it's not. That's what you think they want. All of them want. But that's not what all of them want. That's crazy. And you'll be surprised because if you're shopping, working, day to day, going to the gym, right. going to the store, the right. mall... Uh-huh. Literally, most of the men that are with the women are either at their level or a little bit above, but not, you'll see, um, they're not living near you. Yeah, exactly. You ain't finna see them. Exactly. You ain't gonna see them. You know where these people live? They live in secluded area, hidden from everyday people. Everyday people. It was like when I, when I first started, like, when Brad was really uh, starting to get into real estate and stuff, he was kind of showing me. A lot of these areas that are in Southwest Florida that I did not know exist. Yeah, because I'm so used to seeing rundown houses, gate, average gated communities, communities, yep, projects, apartments, trailer parks, and then he's showing me these places, and it's like you got to They're hidden in plain sight. You would never see them. Because there's like an driving, entire forest. You driving in Amazon you know kind of shows yeah. it to you. There's an entire forest blocking them from the outside world. And they have like mile long driveways behind gates and you got to ring them. They got to ring you in. You got to drive up the driveway. And, you know what I'm saying? Like these people live here, but they're not interacting with you. You'd never know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You would never know. So it's like to try to project the lifestyle that these people live onto your average everyday existence joe schmo you know what i'm saying it's not the same bro it's not the same you know what i'm saying bro just live your life live in reality and understand that there's eight billion motherfuckers in the world bro yep eight billion people in the world it's really not that serious bro (laughs) it really isn't uh shit i want to see how far this goes I really do. That's gonna be pretty neat. I think. I want to see how far this goes because they always start some stupid new trend or something that's gonna kill. No, I I just can't wait for the bionic. Yeah, Yeah. that's what I'm waiting for. That's when it's gonna divide humanity. No, you need to blah blah blah. You need to go out. You need to stay created you with a natural. You need to stay human. All right. I'll be living to. 2,500. 2,000? Once they upgrade my software. <laughs> what the fuck? I'll be 8 million years old. Right. With the latest software and attachments. Can't wait till I'm just a uploaded consciousness and they beam my fucking brain to like Andromeda or some shit. Like Absolutely. What the fuck? At that point, that's... Just, just to connect to the other right. body. They're just going to beam my consciousness. Whatever. Just broadcast it into space. And whoever picks it up, I'm going to infect your computers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, shit. man. That'd be amazing. No, that would be amazing. That'd be amazing. I just want to see the bullshit. That's it. Yeah, it's fun. I'm just glad I'm alive to see the bullshit. It's fun. It's interesting. It's uh, different. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's really different. Absolutely. So, but no, yeah, I, like I said, I just want to pick your brain, see, see, uh, catch your perspective. Yeah, for and, sure, for sure, for and, sure. And see what you thought about that, because I know, like, like you're way taller than me, even though I'm, I'm older. But, um, 
That's I'm, just, I'm fine. I'm fine with my height. I don't have an the issue. Genetic lottery. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how the Punnett square works. You, yeah. know, you learned about the Punnett square? No, I didn't have advanced. Like classes. my height is recessive. My height is recessive in the family. Yeah, it's not dominant. Yeah, the dominant gene is y'all height. Yeah, my height is recessive. So, so, so you lucky. You got lucky. I lucked out. You know what I'm saying? Because our height, co- my height comes from mom, but. I'm way taller than mom. mom. But the men in her family were like six feet. Yeah. Average, six feet up. Mm. Six foot five. Her brothers, six seven, six foot five. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? You know, so my height is recessive. Our dad, all his offspring. Midgets. (laughs) Our midgets. Or, or, or short height. Short people. You know, let's just say that, mm-hmm. not midgets. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so if you look at it that way, and even then, like, come on. This motherfucker got like 80 million kids. Yeah. You think he was thinking about his height? No. Okay, then, so what are we even talking about? Trying to get to the next box. So what are we talking about, bro? What the hell? Trying to get to the next what box. What are we even talking about? If you're worried about your height, yet yeah, you're an offspring of your dad who's probably shorter than yeah. you. Yeah. So what are we even talking about? Yeah, bro? that's something you can't control. Like this is real life. Unless that's, you that, break your legs. That, <laughs> <laughs> you what? That's what I mean. Where it's like people get in. Oh uh, shit! People get in their own way. They yep. get in their own head. It's like look at reality in front of you, yep. and then like you're telling yourself the opposite mm-hmm. when you're literally the offspring of someone who's probably the same height as you or shorter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> See how crazy it is? We in clown world. We in clown world. We in a clown ass world. Uh, oh, I saw shit, something man. trending. What's up, man? What was trending? Um, that there was a whistleblower on uh, U- UFOs, and it was like trending for like most of the day. It's actually still trending. Oh, you're talking about that big UFO and uh. So Pentagon UFO whistleblower David Grush says the United States is in possession of. Vehicles of non-human human origin and bodies of the pilots. And they had a full interview of them. But they're not ready to show humanity yet. Ah, it's going to be exposed at any point in time. Yep. By 2030, we'll know. Yeah, everything. <laughs> yeah, we'll They're know. trying to adopt their currency, too. <laughs> <laughs> what do they call them? Quarkling schmeckling? What do you call it? <laughs> You gotta use the universal fucking credits. What the hell? Oh, man. Here's what you gotta understand. Nine quasars. Here, here's why I say we're gonna know by 2030. Because, you know, you gotta... It's like with everything. It's like what I said with AI. It's gonna start off as a gimmick. And then it's gonna slowly invade everything. Well, this is what happened. And, and, and then same thing with UFOs. We're gonna... Oh, okay, guys. We're gonna take it seriously now. Yeah. Bullshit. We've been new. We already have everything. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna breadcrumb you. Oh, we formed... We're finally gonna have a serious discussion. Oh, now we have a, com- a committee. A task force. A task force. Oh, now NASA has a division on even extraterrestrial we, even bullshit. We, even though we already know what the space is. Yeah, come space on, bro. Come right. on. Stop, bro. Well, this is funny because... They think we're idiots. Well, like you said, too... Like, AI is going to spread through everything. I was running through the TikTok feed, and it literally says, get your virtual girlfriend. No. Oh, man, that's so trash. <laughs> GPTs and everything now. Oh, uh, shit. If you're using an app that uses AI, it's probably GPT. GPT, yeah. It's probably GPT, because it's open source, and you could just use it in any freaking software and just give it a name and a personality and yep. blah, blah, blah. It'll just do that shit for you. Yep. You know what I'm saying? No, I agree. But it's the same thing with uh, the whole alien thing. Like, the moment they announced the whole task force and the it's resurgence. Like, we it was like, know we already knew. You already have it. You revealed half of it already. It's right. Just, you're, you're just trying to breadcrumb us and to be like, oh, we finally made a discovery. And it's like, no, no, you've been knew this. You always knew. You know what I'm saying? It's just like. And it's, <laughs> and it's sad. It's sad. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, shit. Sad. It's sad. And then it got pretty crazy. It was it started getting real crazy. It was like yeah. the next thing you know, people are gonna start getting raptured and everyone's gonna start saying it's aliens. I'm just like, this is getting crazy. 
Yeah, because of course religion is always going to play a part in because they believed in one thing, and then it's like the fundamental belief uh, belief system is being uh, interrupted or imbued on by a, a different species, and it's like, all right, so what do they believe in? So it makes them question. I'm gonna say any alien that comes here is a techno race. I don't care what you say. Oh yeah, for sure. It's not organic life. Wub wub wub. No alien that's gonna come here is gonna be organic life. Sorry. No, they infuse they infuse sorry. With technology. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're not gonna see freaking bug eyed, weird fingered looking things. They're gonna be sausage fingers. Techno species, or biotech. It'll be like. Their biology has merged with their technology to a point where they can manipulate biology. Mm. It's the whole like the whole nanobots thing. You know what I'm saying? Like the yeah. whole nanobots thing, or like uh, the 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 biological nanobots. You know the ones that they grew, they cultured. And it, yeah, yeah, like it can go in your stomach, look right? For, search for cancer, mm-hmm. all that stuff mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking right. about. And they, they're grown from cells and shit like that. And all they got to do is stimulate the 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 neurons in that cell to yeah. do whatever it needs to do. No, I agree. Or in that, you know, in that artificial organism. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I don't know, man. Like, because I feel like there's just going to be a merge of tech and biology. You see what I'm saying? Because we're advancing so fast with biology. With and, tech, uh, through tech. Okay. So, AI and technology is going to advance our understanding of biology, mm-hmm. and then so medicine is going to advance insanely fast. Technology is going to advance insanely fast, and then there's just going to be a marriage between both of them, where you can no longer tell the difference between technology and biology. Biology, yeah. It'll just you. become one synonymous thing. Or you, and, and not even biotech will be able to describe that. It was, what did I say? Uh, not androids, not cyborgs. Yeah. But something else. Something else. You know what I'm saying? We won't be androids, we won't be cyborgs. But that's way, way off in the 2100, 20, 2150. Hey, with the way technology's going, we might actually be able to see it, so. You know, yeah, I'm going to stop. Trying to say you're not gonna get there, right? Exactly. Because every single time I remember when you kept arguing with me about, oh no, no, oh yeah, it's gonna be twenty, twenty five, twenty thirty. Not bullshit. Nah, bullshit. Sorry, Jeff. What about quantum computing? Sorry, Jeff. That's still a ways off. That's it. That's still worse. No quantum computing. Yeah. And then again, there is an explosion in like processors Mm -hmm. and qubit count and shit like that. So. Hey, man, once we can get a thousand cubits to properly work, you know what I'm saying? Which are probably working on right now. There are, especially if they acquire... It's always been... Especially if they acquire cool. this alien technology vehicle. Man, I swear to God. We're dumb and smart at the same time. Yes, we are. This. I hate this. Yeah, we are. <sighs> but, yeah, so... That was an interesting, interesting no. convo. Yes, sir. I had to. I mean, like I said, I, I was curious to, to pick your brain on that, see what your thoughts was, which led into the whole um, Bionicle, Biological, Nanite. Remember that show, Bionicle? Yep. Never watched it. Bullshit. You never watched Bionicle? Nope. What show did you watch? You never watched Bionicle? I watched Chachos. You did watch Chaotic. <laughs> I hate you. I knew you were going to correct that me. That was literally Yu-Gi-Oh! slash Digimon. Yes. Combined. Chachos! Chachos. Really? You never watched Bionic? Uh-huh. They had like so many movies, bro. To me. To it me, was like an, a spinoff of Legos. To me, it wasn't even that. It was just like, because remember, they didn't have DVR back then. So it was either you watch WB, you, the cartoon that you were Because they, they aired it on Saturdays. Yeah. Or, but if you wanted to watch it week weekly, like uh-huh. every weekday... You had to have, like, Cartoon Network. No, it wasn't on Cartoon Network. It was on Nickelodeon? Yeah, it was uh, 4Kids. No. They aired it on 4Kids every Saturday. 
Because I remember... Local, oh, but you're talking about the... Right, because local broadcasting would I air... I think it was owned by Nickelodeon. Would air cable channels on the weekends. I think it was owned by Nickelodeon. Bionicle. Right. Yeah. Right, because... What was it? The whole Lego series. What was it Ninjago or some shit like that? Yeah. That, that ended up on Nickelodeon, I believe. Are you yep, ready? it was the Legos company. No, yeah. I know it was the Le- I know Bionicle was Legos. It was a spinoff of Legos. It started off as Bionic mm-hmm. or Bionics, and then they changed it to Bionicle because, like, I was obsessed with those. Uh, after I got one of their action figures for Christmas, I remember that. That I remember. Most complicated. It was almost as complicated as the Transformer toys. I love the Transformer toys, especially when I got one every Christmas. I never knew how to transform them back because I had the Beast Wars. Mm-hmm. I had Cheetor. Rhinox. Rhinox. I never had uh, Primus. No, but you did have uh, um, Megatron. I had Megatron, Cheetor, Rhinox. Mm. I knew how to transform them into their robot mode. Mm-hmm. But I knew I how to transform them back. But I never knew how to. Yeah, I always gave them to you. Because I, I get pissed. I'm like, I don't know how to change it back here. But it was funny because in my mind, I'm like, transform. But then I had to. It took like 10 fucking <laughs> minutes. Ten all right, minutes. transform. And then and you're like, all right, I got to put it back. <laughs> 10 minutes to like undo every single thing. Which was fucking retarded. I remember we but now they make a, a mechanical where you just say Optimus Prime transform. Oh, and they, well, it's like and he transforms by himself. What's well, dumbed down though? It's not like all cool and like because every single part, they back in the day they paid attention to the detail, bro. Yep. The detail, man. And that's what I loved about it. Absolutely. Absolutely. But yeah, I think we'll close off with that. I feel that. But uh, yeah, man. Um, this was a very interesting topic. We it led into why. Uh, it was actually pretty crazy. We said some crazy ass shit. I it's yeah. crazy. It was. I mean, it's kind of some shit that we're watching too, man. You know. But uh, it's just it, it's interesting yeah. to try to understand the male psyche sometimes, Word. and why we do the dumb shit that we do. Not saying that we're gonna get our legs broken so we can. That's crazy. So we can be taller. That's crazy. But it's crazy to me that this man did it just That's so crazy. he can be taller than his girlfriend and his best friend. So. That's crazy. I don't know if that stems from the insecurity of being short, but dude, you should just and nah, even that's... even Abel was like you. He's not even a bad looking guy. He just that's just some severe psychological. Like, yeah, like. Like, he got into his head so much... That he got the surgery. That he got the surgery. Yeah. Like, he was... That shit infected his brain, his subconscious. He dreamed about his height, bro. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'll never feel that Uh, bad about myself. Nah, man. And that's the thing. I love... Never. I love the the, the height that I am. Goes with my build. Ain't gonna be like a... Mini Hulk. I always call you. I don't have the roar feature. Mini Hulk, boy, boy, whole fucking tank, boy. That's crazy. I wouldn't say that. Nigga, you a tank? Get the fuck out of here. Mm. He, it's. I know, you know. He knows. Yeah, he knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. He He stood up. He's like, bitch, (laughs) you've gone past your time. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, you've gone past Uh, your time. Ah shit! Ah shit! All right, Bruce. This is just for you. It's just for you. By the way, we are gonna have a special guest next week. Jimmy's coming back. Tuesday. Gonna, he's gonna give us a different perspective. Um, uh, game plan is a uh, is a um, game plan uh, that he set for his life, and of course, um, business wise, like how to bring right. up your credit, how to right. do all that stuff like that. So he's gonna go into in depth detail on how to work on that. He was a beast. I, just, uh, I recently saw his recent workout. Yeah, dude's a freaking beast. Holy yeah, crap. He never stops working. Never stops. Never working. stops working. That's the one thing that beast. that I do that I can relate to him is is you keep grinding until you can get there. And he's like, yeah, I know I'm supposed to get eight hours of sleep, but you know I can probably take a four hours and, and that. Yeah, he wanted them. He's one of you's. You him Fadner is. I just 
That's terrifying. Get rich or die trying. Yeah, that's terrifying. <laughs> die trying. Get rich and maintain my mental stability. <laughs> that's what that is. Oh, yeah. Just like my mental stability is on the edge, especially with yeah, this dog. Yeah, absolutely. So. Absolutely. But yeah, yeah. So, no, Jimmy will definitely be on next Tuesday. So, that's going to be uh, fantabico. That's cool. Yes, sir. That's fire. That's fire. But. Uh, Take us home, Jeff. Guys. Thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. If you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, <laughs> we are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and um, Amazon Music, and YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok channel. So if you click on the link, It'll take you directly to the episodes, and of course, we'll include timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment if you want us to bring something up on the uh, the subject next time, or just tell us how we're doing. Again, guys, thank you for joining us at the tabletop. You guys have a good night, weekend, evening, and or day. See you.